Hello and welcome to this lecture of vibration engineering. Uh, today we will talk about the about the critically damped system. In our previous class, we discussed about uh, an under damped system where we discussed different problem like uh, when a mass is falling on a larger mass which is having stiffness and damping. So after collision what will happen that how this mass will vibrate. So in this case we assume that when this it will fall to this mass it will impart one velocity to the system. We also discuss one case in briefly that when a bullet will fire and it will hit the body uh, there will be a, in a complete uh, plastic collision so finally your mass will be m plus m and in that way when you will apply the momentum equation you will get the imparted velocity to this system because here also you have to apply the momentum equation here also you have to apply the momentum equation the third case would be that initially there is no mass and this mass m will fall on this body and suppose there is a magnet and this is body is of some steel material so when the body will hit to the body it is a plastic collision and finally your mass will be the mass which is falling on the surface because here you the mass is there and it will not be contributed here in the second case both will be there but in the third case initially there were no mass when it will fall here it will consider as the mass of the system so in all the cases there will be vibration because the damping is less than one or damping ratio is less than one but in this case the it is a critically damped system and in the critically damped system we know that what happened to our system if we will give some initial displacement to our system the system will not oscillate and it will reach back to the original position in what way I, I, I am saying it that suppose you are having a spring mass system and your damping is very high means your system is critically damped zeta is 1 if this is the mean position and suppose I am giving a 10 centimeter displacement here so after the 10 cm displacement when I will release the body, the body will go back to the mean position but it will not cross the mean position, it will reach to the mean position and if the system is critically damped it will reach in minimum time. So now today here we are here also we are solving a problem of cannon. So here I am showing a picture of a, a projectile mechanism where we fire some projectile using this gun and the gun is mounted on a platform which is having some recoiling mechanism comprises of spring and damper. So when I will fire something from this uh, gun or cannon there will be a back force on the gun and that back force will ultimately give excitation to this system that will be free uh, excitation and when this back force will act I will assume that there is certain initial velocity imparted to this system not the displacement please remember whenever you are giving some impulse kind of force the you will consider the that you are imparting the velocity if you will give some gradual force there you can consider the displacement but in this case, case when I will fire something there will be a back force sudden back force that will give initial force but in my vibratory system I will assume that there is some initial velocity to your system. So when I will give back force will be there this system will vibrate and after certain period of time it will reach to the uh, zero position. So and that is done because of the damping in the recoil mechanism. But the actual interest here is to come uh, reach uh, so maintain uh, so so that your system reach in minimum time to stationary conditions so that you can fire the next projectile. In that way I want to convey that your system would be critically damped system so that in case of critically damped system there will not be any vibration and system will reach back to the zero position in the minimum time as I am showing here in this plot. So now let's read the problem that in this problem k is given k of this mass of this whole body is given as 500. It is given that the V recoiling is 5 meter per second that means whenever there will be a projectile there will be a back force which is giving an initial velocity as 5 meter per second and you have to find the response of your system. So in this case you have to find the response of your system and you are saying that the system is critically damped. That means the system the, the damping of the system will be defined by CC which will be nothing but the 2 under root Km. So if I will make a simple mathematical model of this system my mathematical model will look like here that C will be equal to CC and there will be K there will be certain M and I am giving an initial velocity not any initial displacement 
displacement will be zero only velocity and that is given as 5 meter per second the second case saying that if there will be some back motion the the maximum displacement is 0 0.4 meter that means if I will see the response of my system there will be certain initial velocity to the system because of this initial velocity the system will go in the backward direction it will reach to a value of 0 0.4 meter and after that it will come back to the original position so it is asked that that if this is 0 0.4 meter what would be the response of your system if initial velocity is 5 meter what would be the response of your system these are two independent cases in the second case initial velocity is not given in the first case initial velocity is given so let's start with the first case and i know that for a critically damped system my response equation look like a1 plus a2t e to the power minus omega nt uh, I request you should remember it and if you are interested how I have derived it you can see my uh, lecture uh, first lecture on damping so now if this is the case where I am having my initial displacement 0 my initial velocity 5 and this is the response equation where a1 and a2 are constant which can be get by putting these two initial condition so when I will put t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 I will get that this is 0 so this term will be 0 this is also 1 so my a1 will be 0 so this is the first case now I know that when I will differentiate this as a1 is 0 and I am differentiating this equation this would be my expression after the differentiation here I will put initial velocity as 5 by putting t is equal to 0 and I am getting my a2 is coming out 5 so now I know a1 and a2 so my expression will be xt is equal to 0 plus 5t e to the power minus omega nt and my omega natural is under root k by m so 4.47 if you want to know what is the damping value so damping value equal to c by cc and that will be 2m omega n or 2 under root km both are same so he, by using this I can get the damping but here you see this is the case where your system having this is the result in this expression you can see there is no sine function there is no cos function as this is critically damped system the system will have some motion and then it will reach back to zero position because as i will put the time and this is negative term as I will increase the time this whole term will become less and less and finally it will be zero so there is no oscillation the system is having a periodic condition no harmonic function no vibration this is a critically damped system now let's try this solve the second case where I am saying that the maximum displacement will be 0 0.4 so as I said that maximum displacement is 0 0.4 means if I will see the response there is a maximum displacement here which is 0 0.4 so what I can do I know that as my system having the maximum displacement something at this maximum displacement definitely the velocity will be zero this is not your initial velocity this is the velocity at this time so if I will be able to get this time I will be able to get the uh, solution so let's start with the original equation that this is your response condition you know that your x value is 0 0.4 for a particular time where velocity is zero so what I can do I can first I know that initial displacement is zero so when I will put initial displacement I will get that a1 is zero I'll put back a1 here so this is my expression now for the x this is valid if I will differentiate this expression this expression will come and I will put this differentiation zero because I know that at this stage my velocity will be zero so when I will put this expression zero I will get a value of t and I am saying that this t is this time where your displacement is maximum so using this expression I will get the value of a2 because this x max will be uh, this when I will rearrange this I will get this this t1 is coming out 1 by omega n because this is 0 so a2 will go away this omega n t omega n t will go away and ultimately I will get that the at the time of 1 by omega n my response amplitude will be 0 0.4 as I know that I will put this in this expression and finally I will get this a2 value so this is my a2 value as I know my a1 is 0 my a2 is 0 0.4 e omega and you can see here that x maximum a2 t1 e to the power minus omega and t1 I am using the same expression a1 is 0 so this is my expression I know what particular time 
this is 0 0.4 and this putting 0 0.4 I am getting this unknown value and finally I will put all the value together in this expression so this is the response and now if I am interested let's I am interested to find what when x1 will become 0 0.1 means when the system will move in this way and somewhere here the amplitude will become let 0 0.1 what would be the time so I will put 0 0.1 and I will get time on the other end if I will say that for find the response at time t is equal to 0 0.7 so I will put t is equal to 0 0.7 here my omega n is known that is 4.47 omega n is under root k by m so this is my response expression when I will put t is equal to 0 0.7 I will get the displacement on the other end if I will say that what would be the time when the response is 0 0.1 so I will put 0 0.1 here and I will get time so in that way once you have the response equation you can get both the displacement by putting the time or you can get the time by putting the displacement thank you